Hello ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. This is Matthew Becheris. I'm doing a little video, a little different video here than Travel 10. Uh, most of my videos on my YouTube channel is about Travel 10 and me being in the business with Travel 10. Well, this video is going to be a little different. Um, this is actually an unboxing of the Carolina Custom Cages Terrarium. Uh, I actually purchased the extra tall medium. 24, 18 by 36. I'm soon going to be housing a corn snake. This is my first snake. So I wanted to start off with a corn snake. Obviously, that is your number one starter snake. So I figured I'd do a corn snake. Uh, and with this terrarium, I'm not going to do your normal terrarium. Uh, I'm actually going to go bioactive and I'm going to co uh, contact or go on the Bio Dudes website and I'm going to order everything that I possibly need as far as the springtails and the isopods and the dirt and everything else that uh, basically what you get with the bio dude to turn your terrarium for any of your animals or reptiles into a bioactive terrarium. So this is the first thing that I've ordered so far for my corn snake, soon to be corn snake. Uh, the corn snake's gonna pretty much be the last thing I buy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually unbox this, set this up, and then start getting everything from the bio dude and get the bioactive terrarium going for a little bit uh maybe a few weeks closer to a month and then that's when i'll go out and get a corn snake so this is the one that i ordered here is the 24 18 by 36 it's roughly about 280 bucks which is a decent price for a decent size uh terrarium I didn't want to get something too small, and then I didn't want to get something too big. So I figured 24, 18 by 36 um, is a perfect size, you know, to start out with the corn snake. It might be a little bit too big, but I'd rather have a bigger terrarium and allow the corn snake, the baby corn snake, to grow in it for the next five to ten years. Um, I can always get something bigger down the road after it gets a lot bigger. Um, but here we are. So I'm actually going to start opening. As you can see, this just came in the mail today. So it's well packaged with all these stickers and everything, letting the shipper know. It takes a minimum of two people to, to lift up the box, and it's fragile with glass. So yes, I am opening this for the first time. I just got this in the mail today. It was on my front porch. And I've watched other videos on YouTube of people getting this cage or terrarium in the mail. And it is a box in a box, which is awesome. Because when you get one of these in the mail, you know it's going to come in one piece. When there's a box in a box, especially if they have styrofoam corner pieces like this protecting the box in a box. And no, I'm not going to say box in a box a lot. So <laughs> what we'll do is we'll take these out. Now, usually on my YouTube channel, I do a lot of things about Travel 10, about paying 10 bucks and saving thousands of dollars every year and paying 20 bucks to save money and to possibly uh, make a lot of money with Travel 10 in the business. But that's what I'm not here to do today. I'm just here to simply show the unboxing of my terrarium from Cust uh, Carolina Custom Cages. And I'm going to start doing videos. I'm going to get this thing set up. Now I'm not going to install it on video. I'm pretty much going to unbox the entire thing on the video. And then off camera I'll put it together then I'll start and then I'll make another video of the finished product once it's put together that way you're not sitting there and watching a time-lapse video of me putting it together so I'm guessing that's the bottom part the base which is already put together so let me take this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the base and the top lid. So when you pull this out of the box,
you pretty much have the bottom part where it's going to have all your substrate, the bottom glass section, which this one is going to be awesome. Uh, this is pretty deep. So that's going to be great with the BioDude bioactive substrate because I remember watching uh, the BioDude tell you that he need you basically need a lot of substrate for a bioactive terrarium. So I got more than enough space in here for a deep layer of bioactive substrate with the sphagnum moss and the leaf glitter or um, the leaves and branches and everything that sits on the top and then the biodegradables and everything so this is more than enough space at the bottom for a decent uh, thickness of substrate and then obviously this is the top lid where the LED light and everything is going to be sitting on top and then here obviously it's two hands but you basically push this tab in and this tab in and then you basically can take the top off to access the cage from the top but this one's got the two glass windows that open up so I highly doubt most of the time I'm not going to open this up from the top it's going to be open from the front with the two swing uh, the two hinge glass panels so and then over in this box here it's well packaged it's actually a good shot so here is your rods so, like I said, I got the 36-inch terrarium. So, it gives you an idea. This terrarium is going to be tall. So, these are the four corner pieces. So, if you can imagine here. So, it's going to be an extremely tall terrarium. And that's what I wanted because I wanted to give height for the corn snake to crawl up branches near the top of the cage or the terrarium. I didn't want something, you know, like a normal fish tank and he only has, what, 18 inches, 15 inches to climb up. I wanted something high. Um, so I got the 36 inch high. And then here's all your glass panels, well packaged. So when you order any terrarium through Carolina Custom Cages, rest assured it's gonna come in one piece. This is definitely well packaged in here. They got these plastic straps, they got styrofoam wrapped in plastic, you got insulation around the sides. So it's gonna come in one piece. So I'm gonna put this together real quick and, and I'll start the video and show you what the final product looks like. Okay, here you go. 24 by 18 by 36 Carolina custom cage put together. And to be honest with you, everyone, it took longer to unpackage the plastic off the glass than to put it together. I kid you not. To put it together, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. You need the Phillips screws for step five. And those go down each corner to hold the top to the center or to the corner bars. So it's actually extremely easy. So I started out with the base. The first thing it says to take the tubes and slide them down into the base and you screw them down. You basically take each rod, four rods, and you screw them down into the bottom of the base. That way they're solid. Then the next step was to take this corner piece and slide it down over the bar. Then the second step was to take the left side glass door and slide that over the bar. And then the back right corner you slide this corner piece down over the bar and then you take the right glass swing door and you slide that over the bar and then the next step was to install this left panel glass and it slides in this groove 
and down in this bottom groove here. And then on the right side was take this panel, slide it down in this groove, and put it down in this groove down at the bottom here. And then the next step was to take this side of the glass, put this one in, and then take this center piece and slide it in between both pieces of glass all the way to the bottom. The next step was to take the top and slide it over the remaining pins that are sticking up. And if you look down there, you got your Phillips screw. So you got one in each corner. And when you slide the top over, it basically puts the glass in the top rail all the way around. So after you tighten down all four screws in each corner, then they give you these little rubber grommets that you can use to hide the screw. And that's pretty much it. And then it's nice about the top, it's sturdy. You can put your lights and everything on top of here. You don't have to worry about it falling down, it's solid. Over here, if you wanna do a thermometer, in a humidity probe down in the substrate. You got holes. And basically when this cover comes off, these little plastic covers slide out and leaves a, a tiny little opening just big enough for a cord to run down inside the tank. So in the back, you got one, two, and three. And then on this side, you got one, two, and three. There's none in the front. The only thing in the front is your hinges to open the top and that's it because in normally with the um, with the terrarium you put all your cords in the back and you hide them and then in the front there's nothing it's solid corner pieces and then here's your doors that's the left door and then you got your right door now I didn't know what these suction cups were for in the little Ziploc bag, so I'm actually using them as handles. I'm guessing that's what the intentions of them are, because without these, it's extremely hard to open these glass panels. You have to literally take your fingernail and grab the corner here and open it with your fingernail, and it's a pain in the butt. So I saw those two extra suction cups, so I stuck them on each side of the glass here so I can use it as little tiny handles, like rubberized handles. And then over here, I have the suction cup key to lock the, ter uh, the terrarium. So basically just pull that off. And then down here, you can insert the key, make sure both panels are in. It's hard to do this with one hand. And there you go. It lifts up and locks both door panels in. So you can't open either door. So children can't open this up. And if you have a venomous snake, that helps out too. If you have children or grandchildren, they can't open these doors to reach in to touch the venomous snake and possibly get bitten or sprayed with venom. So that's pretty nice that Carolina Custom Cages puts a lock down here and you can actually take this lock uh, or the key and actually hide it. Um, since I live by myself, there's nobody else living here. That's one reason why I'm getting a snake uh, to keep me a little occupied is I'm just going to basically take this key and suction cup it right to the side of the glass. That way it's always there ready for me to, to grab it and open it up. But since I live by myself, I probably won't lock this much. Well, I might just to keep the snake from coming out, I guess. Yeah, that's true. So, so I'll lock it. And then just place it on the table. I didn't get a table yet for it. That's why it's sitting on the living room floor. Uh, I'm actually going to go out and buy... Uh, like an end table or a nightstand or a pretty good sized table that's going to lift this up pretty high off the ground 
That way I'm, I'm not always on my knees looking at the snake. So I'm gonna go out and get a table. And then after that, I'm gonna put it in its place, in its resting location, and basically start getting everything for the inside. I'm gonna go on BioDude's website and start ordering everything for a bioactive terrarium uh, for my soon-to-be corn snake. Um, corn snake is going to be last. I'm gonna wait on that. I want to get the terrarium all set up for them and with isopods and springtails and everything like that I'm gonna mist it down uh, probably twice a day probably at 8 a.m. or 7, 7 o'clock in the morning and then I'm gonna mist the terrarium down again at 7 o'clock at night or 8 o'clock at night uh, to pretend like it's raining um, and then basically put everything in as far as the substrate the hides uh, the logs. Now that's one reason why I bought this size, the 24 by 18 by 36, is it's high. And I wanted logs to go from here all the way up near the top, pretty much a couple inches away from the top. So I want him to be down here and be able to slither up logs all the way to the top. So I'll stand back and give you a visual of the Carolina custom cages as you can see it's plenty big especially for a baby corn snake it's well oversized for a baby corn snake but I rather have something big and allow that baby corn snake to grow and then in the back both these glass panels are put together by this centerpiece so there's no gaps back here there's no gaps here or here so it's all put together very well. Uh, I am extremely happy with it. I'm also happy about the base where the substrate's gonna be. Uh, let me get out of a tape measure. The bottom base measures roughly six inches that's not even at the floor I would say a good seven inches is the bottom for substrate that's gonna be awesome for a bioactive substrate because the bio dude on his YouTube vet uh, videos he says five six seven inches is perfect and I got seven inches so that's another reason why I bought this one it's got a deep base and if you go on Carolina Custom Cages and bring this model up, it actually says it's waterproof in the base up to six inches. So I can pretty much go up to here with water if I wanted to, if I have frogs or anything like that or fish. Um, I could do, I could split this thing in half and do one side as a pond with, with actual live fish and then have rocks and dirt going up on an angle on this side you know, for frogs uh, or other lizards that like water and land or stuff like that. But since this is gonna be a corn snake, I'm not gonna do any water in the bottom. It's just gonna be all six to seven inches of substrate. And then I'm gonna have their hide, his hides. I'm gonna put, you know, one side as a hide as the hot side. And then another hide on this as a cool side. And then basically put um, all the logs and everything in here. I'm gonna get the jump start thermostat for humidity and temperature and get the LED lights and everything for the top so I'm gonna take my time on this I'm not you know I'm not gonna go out and get everything at once but I figured the first thing I buy is the terrarium and make a little short video for you guys on YouTube to showing you the quality of the Carolina custom cages 24 18 by 36 very well made very happy with it if you're thinking about getting frogs, tree frogs, geckos, any other kind of lizard, um, or if you want to get if you if you want to go into sna uh, snakes or spiders, I'm not saying to get this size, but this I think is an awesome size because of the height, uh, especially with snakes. So if you're going to get snakes, I would probably go with the 36 high, but if you're going to do lizards frogs 
Uh, maybe frogs would probably be awesome too because they can climb on their on the branches and everything. But as far as this being high for lizards, it's probably a little too high. You can probably shorten it down a little bit for lizards and stuff like that. But for snakes, 36 inches high is going to be awesome. So I'll keep you guys updated on everything. When I order everything from the BioDude, I'll show you that unpackaging. And I'll start putting that stuff together and, and then put the substrate in, put the springtails and isopods in the bottom, uh, put the bio shot in the bottom. I'll wet and soak down the, uh, the, the, the substrate with the sphagnum moss and everything like that. And I'll show you guys an updated video on that stuff when, it, when I go to order it. But I just wanted to show you the terrarium. Very happy with it. It's going to be an awesome size, especially. I'm also thinking about doing a background, like a jungle background around the sides, the back. That way when you look in here, you don't see my bedroom wall or my living room wall. You're basically going to see like an image of a jungle. So on the bottom is going to be my heat mat. So I'm going to put my heat mat underneath, probably on the right side, underneath the tank so that it radiates heat up through the, uh, the substrate and then on the right side going across the back and over on the left side it's a three-sided wraparound background drop I'm gonna do the jungle so I'm gonna make this look like a jungle even though corn snakes don't originally come from the jungle they come basically in farmlands in your backyard and stuff like that but it's a snake um, when people come over to my house, they're going to look at a snake. They're not going to think it's a corn snake. And why is a corn snake in the jungle? Or why does it look, the terrarium look like a jungle? You know, it's not a ball python or a viper or anything like that. But I wanted to, to give it the jungle look. So when I'm all done with this, it's going to look like a jungle. Snake's going to go wrapping around branches. And, and I, I, you know, I, I see the videos on, on the Mist King drilling a hole at the top and, and having these little sprayers shooting mist down which is hundred and fifty dollars so I'm not gonna go down that road right this second I'm just gonna get one of those misters hand pump misters and I'm gonna just mist the inside terrarium twice a day you know for a couple months get it get the bioactive and the ecosystem going and then that's when I'll go out and get the snake and then basically go from there so I'm gonna end this video again this is Matthew Becheris an opening box of the Carolina Custom Cages, 24, uh, 18 by 36. And I'll keep you guys posted on when I order everything from the Bio Dude. And then, obviously, when I get the snake, you guys will have videos of that too. So, I'll let you guys go. But I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks, guys.